Hey guys, I'm back with another candle review and this time around with a 14.5 ounce three wick Main Street Bakery candle from Bath & Body Works, part of the Spring Bakery collection that kind of like comes alongside the Easter collection as well. I believe this is already online and should be in store starting today. Uh, so the notes on this read, fresh banana, vanilla wafers, and cinnamon sugar. And oh my God, I love this fragrance, but it's just not very strong, which kind of blows, but I don't know. I think it's so delicious that I would be very uh, tempted to pick up another one. But in any case, what does this smell like? Uh, it's awesome. It's like this great like banana pudding type of fragrance is what it kind of comes off as. You get a very creamy like mashed banana fragrance uh, that's like sweet and nice. Uh, it definitely has uh, like heaps of like a vanilla alongside the banana to make it sweet, but it's not overly like candied or artificial, which I enjoy. Uh, and it doesn't have that sort of like sometimes uh, like sort of nutty burnt quality that a lot of the banana fragrances tend to, I guess, have along with it. Like banana walnut muffin or banana bunt cake usually has like a, you know, there's usually like a chopped walnuts or some kind of like nut note accompanying the banana that makes it smell a little bit burnt. This doesn't have that. So it's more that pure juicy, like sweet, creamy, like a whipped banana fragrance that kind of smells like banana pudding is what it uh, comes off as. And you get that first and foremost, and then it's mixed with this just uh, slightly warm, uh, like bakery, uh, I guess cake type of fragrance is what I get from it. It kind of smells like like angel food cake, or maybe if you had a, like mashed up like uh, pieces of pound cake and then like made it into like a banana trifle. It kind of reminds me of that. There's a slight undertone of this like uh, buttery vanilla uh like cake type of element to it uh that is kind of like you know just like kind of like a plain vanilla but i guess mixed with like the slight cinnamon sugar which i have to say is not very strong it's not super spicy it's not anywhere near as like spicy as like uh you know they're like sweet carrot cake or the hummingbird tea cake fragrance uh it's not really like spicy quite like that uh but there's just a little bit of this like warm essence in there mixed with like kind of a butteriness that evokes some type of like almost like a vanilla cake or like an angel food cake undertone to it mixed with that sweet creamy banana and it's delicious I love it so I've made the comparisons to all the banana candles in my previous haul video, but I have to say this is probably the closest to the banana nutmeg bread pudding candle, uh, which then got repackaged as that pumpkin banana muffin candle as well. Uh, it's kind of like the the pure sweetness of that sort of like fluffy banana uh, feel that you got in the banana nutmeg bread pudding before you burned it. It's kind of like captured in this candle and remains that way the whole way through. I think that one maybe just had a little bit more spice and almost like a caramelized undertone to give it a little bit more of a fall appeal to it, uh, that this one does doesn't quite possess, but it's probably like the next best thing to the banana nutmeg bread pudding. And I love that banana candle from them. So it's so nice and also very nostalgic to uh, have a fragrance that's similar to that again. So I'm really enjoying this one. So that's pretty much it for the fragrance. So let me go into the performance. This is the third burn. It has the thick rope like wicks on it. And then so it does uh, tend to, I like trim them very short, but they still eventually turn out like this a few hours afterwards. I think this is a two hour burn. So make sure you're always on top of trimming it. It has the thick rope like wicks that, you know, have the vicious flames on it, as you see here. Uh, as for the throw, this is where it suffers. Oh man, because I really enjoy this fragrance, but it's just, I wish it was much stronger. I would say it's no more than maybe... Oh God, a three to a four. Yeah, uh, I would say it's like a three, very much like a background fragrance in an open concept area. Like I go nose blind to it when I'm in the room with it. I can only kind of smell it if I leave and then come back into it. Uh, I would say like the first like hour or so is actually quite light. And then it maybe builds up to like a three or four by the like second into the third hour. Um, I put it in a smaller bedroom and I can smell it a little bit more, but it's very much in like just the light range, uh, which blows. I wish it was much stronger. Longer. Uh, like their banana split milkshake or banana wallet muffin are very strong and potent. But I guess because this one's just so heavy on the vanilla sweet creaminess to it, maybe it just doesn't like throw or travel as well as the other banana fragrances. But yeah, I just have had a long string of uh, wheat candles from Bath and Body Works lately, which is a little bit concerning because that's usually not the case for me. But eh, it is what it is. Overall, super delicious fragrance, but unfortunately the throw on it is just, I wish it was stronger, but it's at least not completely unscented that I would entertain maybe buying another one of this just because the fragrance is so delicious and divine. So I think this is unfortunately the only uh, like format this uh, fragrance comes out in. So it's just kind of, we're just like stuck with this version, but at least it's still better than having it in like a useless single wick, which would be even more unscented than this is. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I guess my last thoughts, Main Street Bakery just doesn't seem like it's 
the most like apt name for this candle just because I don't know when I think of a bakery I'm, I'm not thinking of thinking of banana pudding in like mashed sweet bananas uh, so a little bit of a mismatch there but I, I guess it makes for a cute name or a concept but it's just I don't know when I think of bananas and like puddings I don't necessarily think of a Main Street bakery because you would be baking something that's like warm and coming out of the oven, which this doesn't really have too much of it except for like an undertone of some kind of like vanilla cake. But I don't know. It is what it is. We still bought it. So I, whatever. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.